Domenico here in the room podcast with a very special guest. I got Killer Cam latching off on who will be fighting Bellator 254 on December 10th, man. How you doing, Cameron? Welcome to the show once again, bro. I'm doing really good, Steve. How are you? Thank you for having me on the show again. How's everything going with you? I'm doing really well, brother. Um, man, not as good as you. Uh, second fight for Bellator after coming, uh, you know, after COVID shut everything down, man. How you feeling about getting back in there so soon? Uh, awesome. I, I feel really good because uh, basically I was in shape from the last fight, so I didn't take much time. I took three, four days uh, break after that fight to recover whatever if I had, I had a little bit of soreness. But after that, it was back in the gym, you know, and perfectly worked out that we got an opponent. And, uh, you know, it was a short fight, uh, short break for me. So I loved it. When uh, after that fight, that last fight at 249, did Bellator tell you to stay ready, that they, they're going to become calling you again? Did you feel like uh, they'd be using you right away uh, for another fight? I had uh, I had a couple of other options to fight, and uh, it was like a very short notice fight, uh, five four day notice. One of the guys when they had a COVID, they offered me that fight. Just uh, financially did not make sense, and uh, it just didn't worth the risk of jumping weight classes and trying to cut too much. So I we didn't take it, but. As a team and the management, we talked, and after my last fight, we agreed that I'm going to stay in shape because uh, there will be another opportunity to jump right back in there. So, yeah, it was uh, definitely in our mind that we will be back in there in there soon. Excellent. Well, Cameron, you're on an eight-fight winning streak. You're 5-0 and oh for Bellator. You know, a lot of people really didn't know that uh, when you stepped into that, that cage at Bellator 249. How is the progression now, and how do you feel about, you know, fighting for Bellator now from uh, that first time? Obviously, I got a lot of uh, pressure off my shoulders from the very first time fighting on a, such a big show. It's one of the biggest show in the, you know, planet. Fighting for Bellator was like a lot of pressure, a lot of eyes on, on you, and and here, after five fights and almost five years later, I'm fighting like I'm fighting back home, you know. It's it's a great feeling. I, I still have that thrill, you know. I know that a lot of people still watching. A lot of uh, eyes will be on top of me. And it still uh, gets me that adrenaline going. Uh, the only thing is you still feel a little better that, you know, you've been there. Nothing new for you. And it's like, hey, let's just uh, rock and roll. Well, you had your first experience fighting with no crowd. Uh, after the win, you were very vocal about missing the fans and wanting the fans there to get back that energy, man. How was how was um, fighting with no crowd? How was the feeling in there? Uh, you know, listening to both sides of uh, you know the corners. It was good and bad. The good side, the pros are that you know I could hear the other side, especially when uh, your coaches and. Uh, Teammates can talk another language. We could kind of uh, use that as an advantage towards us. They were always helping me in my own language in Turkish and Russian. And here, uh, it went kind of different. Uh, how you know they were? I could hear him saying, "Oh, low kick," and I was like, "Okay, I'm a half a second in front of him because he's about to do the low kick." But on the negative side, you you're missing the big crowd. I feel like uh, it was a big disadvantage you know doesn't it's like it's like a practice kind of a thing but at the same time it's like you know it's a real fight but at the same time you you don't have that crazy adrenaline running through your body you, the fans are man it's as important as getting ready for the fight so like i said it was uh both ways 50 50 excellent well coming off that last fight you you fought an undefeated prospect for Bellator. You're fighting another undefeated guy making his Bellator debut. We got a nine and O Shamil Nikaev. I probably said that name wrong, but how you feeling about this matchup and fighting another up and coming undefeated fighter? I feel good. You know, for me, it's uh, another good uh, opponent. 
on the line. Uh, nothing changed in front of me. There is an opponent. Uh, same. Uh, I got the same exact goal in front of me. I just got to get the W in the best way. Uh, I, I do my part. I train hard. I show up at the practices and stay injury free. And uh, my teammates and uh, coaches put the game together and push me through it. For me, nothing has changed. Uh, from day one, we have the same goal. It's just different opponent. Well, what I seen out of him uh, compared to uh, Kyle Kirchmeier was, you know, Kyle was, uh, you know, backpedaling most of that fight. You were keeping the center of the cage, and uh, you were forcing the pressure on there. Uh, it seems that Shamil does the same kind of uh, game plan as you. He comes forward, and he's not afraid to get in that pocket, but he's in and out, uh, same kind of angles as Kyle. But he seems a little more together and a little stronger as far as a stand-up guy. Uh, how you That's feeling? why I said it's going to be a good match. Yeah. We're both uh, about that. He likes to move in and out and, uh, you know, try to control the – he he tries to control the ring, the middle – so that's going to be, a, this is going to be the fight. Uh, I feel like it's going to end soon, you know. Well, you know what's, uh, what's real, uh, you know, really cool about you two guys. You guys are, you know, not so much finishes. You grind fights out. You grind your opponents and you basically break their will and take the fights over. Uh, he's the same way. I mean, uh, he doesn't have many finishes, a lot of uh, decisions here. So, Man, this is a very intriguing match, man. This could be a very big grind for three three big rounds here. That's the only thing I'm expecting from this fight. Uh, a lot of fireworks, a lot of blood going on there. It's it's gonna it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good fight for the fans and for the viewers. The only only person who's gonna win is the fans here. Excellent. Well, uh, Cameron, coming, you know, having that last. Um, that last training camp for uh, 249, has it been easier in this training camp? Have you been able to, you know, get a little more, um, you know, a, a, a little more um, kind of flow in your regiment? Last time you were jumping all over the place trying to find open gyms. Has it gotten a little easier in this training camp or are you still jumping around? Uh, I didn't jump too much around. Thank God, the uh, Team Link Ludlow guys helped me. But it was hard to get uh, like different opponent, different teammates. So like you know, one guy is really good on stand up. Other guy is good on wrestling. Other guy, it was hard to get the guys again. It's it, it's definitely hard times right now to get a good uh, teammate to train with. Well, Cameron, the holidays are right, you know, right here. We just had Thanksgiving. We got Christmas coming. We got, you know, a lot of festivities. You know, you got a family happening right now. You know, a lot of stuff going on. How do you keep it all together, uh, you know, keeping your weight down and, uh, you know, having to cut through the holidays and all that? Oh, man, uh, tell me about it. <laughs> Thanksgiving yesterday, I had a lot of salad. <laughs> That's what I had, salad. Uh, thank God my family, my wife, my mom, my parents always support me. So they uh, they tried to tell me to stop quit uh, fighting, but they at the same time they cook for me, you know, special meals. And, and if they see me eating something wrong, I'll be like, hey, you can't eat that. You got to eat your salad. <laughs> like, okay, mom. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, man, you're 5-0 and in Bellator. This is going to be a sixth fight. Uh, your last fight was a dynamic fight. You're all over the internet. Uh, what do we expect to see from Cameron fighting again for Bellator at Bellator 254? Yeah, it will be it will be a excitement fight. I will tell you that. You just expect me to finish the fight and get my hand raised. That's all I uh, care right now. Excellent. Well, Cameron, thank you always for the time. You know, chiming in. It seems like every time I catch you in an interview, you're having dinner with well. Yeah, you're at dinner with your, you're at dinner with your family. You know, you don't get to eat much, but you are there, man. I love what you're doing, brother. You know, great success. You're a great role model for you know the New England co fighting community. You're getting it done, man. And uh, you know, big things ahead for you with a with a hand raised at 254. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. Thank you for getting my voice out there. I really appreciate it. You guys do a great job. You know putting our uh, fighters' voice out there and uh, uh, helping everybody else to see who we are and what we do. And uh, it really means a lot, man. Excellent, my man. Well, last thing, brother, uh, shout-outs to, 
you know, other people that you would like to give thanks to and uh, throw your social media out there and I'll let you get back to dinner with the family. I uh, just want to say a big thanks to all my teammates, uh, family, especially my mother and my dad and my uh, wife that uh, goes through hell when I diet and get grumpy and all that. They, they got to live through with me. So, and uh, thanks to all my fans that keep me in their prayers, help me go through this with their prayers. I, most of my fights, uh, I ask everyone, nothing else. I just need from you guys as a prayer, you know, for a clean, good fight. And, uh, of course, Team Link, uh, Ludlow, Team Link uh, family, uh, they, they're there no matter what. Jason Franklin, Marco Alvin, uh, all the coaches that there is just, I cannot thank them enough, man. Uh, even on Thanksgiving, they showed up, they pushed me through. They made sure that I wanted to die that day instead of wanted to eat that day. <laughs> Two workouts, it was, it was good. I just, I cannot be more grateful. I just, I'm so happy that I have them next to me as a Team Link family. And uh, Cameron, what's your social media? Because we got a little while before this fight. It's definitely, uh, follow me at uh, on Instagram, it's Killer Cam, and on Facebook, it's Cameron Lachinoff, whatever you guys find me at, you know, contact it for any any good information. Uh, for any good sponsors that are looking out there, you know, they want their name to be on the, on the Bellator main card, maybe very soon, maybe even a UFC very soon, so before I... Before I make my move, you guys, if anybody wants to be on that, uh, on the shorts or t-shirts, I got a couple of offers right now pending. Uh, we're just trying to make a deal if it's worth it or not. I just don't like to run after extra things be, uh, besides the fighting. So any big fire, any big sponsors that want to sponsor this guy that before goes uh, big, uh, it's the time right now. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Breaking news on Dominican <laughs> MMA. <laughs> we got a 5-0 and fighter for Bellator, Bellator here. Stepping in the cage for a go for a six fight against an up-and-coming 9-0 and fighter coming in. Cameron, you know, the phone should be off the hook after this fight for you, man. Thanks so much for uh, giving us some time, man, in between family festivities and all. Uh, good luck on Bellator 254 on December 10th, man. Can't wait to see you performing there, brother. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Steve, for having me again. And uh, hopefully we'll talk soon right after the fight, the celebration. Excellent, my man. You have a good night, brother. Thanks again. Thank you. Have a good one.